standard form. I'm going to write the formula down just so we see it. It's x minus h quantity squared plus the y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, right? So that's our formula. So that's the one you're thinking. All right, now in here, here's my h, here's my k, and this is my r, right? And because of the way the formula is written, we do opposites, right? So when I do my h, it's a positive here, so it'll be a negative here. So I'm going to go x minus 3. I'm going to take this number. It's a negative. <clears throat> so because my formula has a negative in it, I'm going to do the opposite. All right, minus a negative would make it a positive. So y plus 4, square it. All right, and I'll tell you right now, the, the part that people forget is the 2s. They forget to square all that, OK? Radius squared, if my radius is 5, if I square 5, it's 25. All right, so I wrote the formula down. You don't have to write the formula down. You got to be able to go straight from here to here. Brooklyn? So if you wanted to go ahead and make it 25, or can you write it down square? Nope, square. Actually square it out. All right, so that's pretty straightforward, right? Plug the numbers into the formula and or pull, pull them out of the formula back and forth there. That ought to be pretty straight. Okay, now let's do another one, but let's go the opposite direction. Okay, so let's say I am given, maybe say an x plus a 5 to the second power plus a y squared equals a 4. We'll keep the number small. <clears throat> now from here, I should be able to ask you to find the center and radius. Okay, so there's the directions. Find the center, find the radius. So you're just going backwards. Now you've got to pull the stuff out of the information, out of the equation, okay? So I have an x coordinate for my center right here. It says plus five, so I pull out a negative five. Okay, so I'm going to identify. Don't just write the ordered pair down, okay? The person grading your paper is not going to know what that means unless you identify. Say, hey, this is my center, negative five. All right, now. Is there a K? There is no K. All right, so if, if there is no K, what number do I put here? Zero. Okay, and then my radius. All right, if this is four, that represents R squared. So take square root and you get two. So my radius is two. All right, so going back and forth between the two, you got to be able to put it into that form. You got to be able to take it out. That's the easy part, okay? That's not hard, this level. <clears throat>